Welcome back to Happy Apple Core Homestead. Today we are going to do the August garden tour. I'm really excited to show you what it looks like out there. Before we get started, I just want to give a special shout out to Penny, uh, the newest member of our YouTube channel. Thank you, Penny, for your support. I appreciate you. Okay, now with that said, we're going to head on out to the garden. It is August. We are in the Pacific Northwest and we are in zone 8B. And today is a scorcher, you guys. So let's just head on out there before it gets too, too hot and uh, see what we got out there. Thought we would start in the greenhouse and everything in here is peppers, all different kinds of peppers. Um, these are some little small bell peppers, like lunchbox bells. And these are cayenne peppers. And some of them are ready to harvest. And in the back we have jalapenos. This is the outside of the garden fence and the grapes are just going wild. Look at this guy growing way up there. Outside the garden I have some sunflowers that are growing here. Just some flowers that didn't make it into the garden beds. A couple of extra tomato plants. And of course the comfrey which has been very heavily um, harvested. This is a uh, first year so we're just letting it kind of do its thing. Although you can harvest first year, they'll come back the next year. All right, let's head inside and see what we got. Thankfully right now the garden is in the shade. That will not last long. So when it's hot like this, it's nice to just get out and get the work done before the hot sunshine comes. All right, let's start on this side of the garden today. You'll notice I have some new bags here that weren't here in July when I did my last video. And that is because my daughter and son-in-law had a patio garden and they moved to a different place and they don't have a patio anymore. So now they're goodies are living here. So here's the raspberries that definitely had some trouble this year. Um, maybe some kind of a fungus or a bug. Anyway, I'll take care of that before next year and uh, hopefully we'll get a nice good crop next year. And over here we have all of the bush beans. I grow um, bush beans exclusively because I can them. And we even have a little friend coming to get a snack. Unfortunately, he is going to go outside the garden. Back to the tour. Here's the rhubarb, hanging out, doing fine. This is the yarrow that I said I was gonna harvest and never did. All the beautiful poppies, aren't they pretty, you guys? So, so pretty. These do have medicinal benefits. Maybe I will harvest some. And here is our mullen. It's a first year and I usually don't let it grow to its second year. So I'll be harvesting this. I'll do a video for you guys and tell you all the health benefits of it if I haven't already. And here's the celery. You've seen it before, but it's just doing amazing. And I have been eating it. I just pull the stalks from the outside. And here's all of this basil. I harvested as much as I needed, and then I let it go, the rest go to seed. And the bees, like check out that beautiful bee. They love it. So I just left some. Here's some thyme and another comfrey plant. Looks like this one could use a little bit of a haircut. And hiding underneath the comfrey is sage and a bunch of bees. And this is mugwort and it looks like it, it is ready to harvest. So I should probably get on that. You hear me say that a lot, huh? And we have the Mexican tarragon 
which I heavily harvested earlier in the season has completely grown back, as has the oregano and the lemon balm. I can definitely um, harvest some more here if I wanted to. Here's my dill. It's um, happy and it's almost time for me to do some more pickles and this will come in handy for the pickles. The cucumber bed has finally filled out. I did have to replant it a time or two. Uh, the, I think it's called the American Shrew Mole or something like that. I'll have to look that up and double check, but they've been really active in the garden this year and just eating seeds and little baby plants along with the grubs and all of that. But um, we will get lots of pickles. There they are. There's a little baby one. And here's the leftover strawberries. Of course, they're done for the season, so they'll get a haircut and grow back next year. This whole bed here is all bush beans. This is my cranberry bed. It's doing okay, I guess. It's got a lot of clover in it. It's kind of the bane of my existence. Trying to get rid of that, it's just impossible. Some more rhubarb. And the marjoram. I had planted more in there, but I don't know what happened. This was the skull cap. I've already harvested what I'm gonna use for the year. So we'll just let that go to flowering. The chamomile is done and I'll pull this out. It has already gone to seed, so it will just grow back. It reseeds itself every year. And here is the beautiful lavender plant that my friend Elaine gave me. Isn't it beautiful? And here are my blueberries and a weed. This, these were covered. I covered them with this um, until I harvested what I wanted. And then I leave some for the birds. And a garden gnome. He doesn't belong in there, but as you can see, the grass was recently cut down. So all of my little garden critters are in random spots in the beds. We have more beans here and all the way down. We eat a lot of beans. Some more blueberry plants there. They're doing okay. They didn't do the best this year, but I got enough. More beans here. Remnants of the raspberries. I left some for the birds, but they're not eating them. I don't know why. And these are the grapes, you guys. Look at how wild and bushy this is. But there are lots, just tons and tons of grape clusters under here. All right, let's go back down the middle. Okay, now we come to my tomato jungle. I gave up staking them. I just, you know, some years you just let things go wild and everything works out just fine. Might not be as pretty as it normally is, but we've had a really, really dry summer, so I'm not worried about blight at all, <laughs> to be honest with you. Most years, it can be a concern. You really need to clean out all of this center stuff, give it a lot of room for airflow. I'm only growing grape tomatoes and a few paste tomatoes this year, <clears throat> and I'm just not concerned. This bed right here, is currently empty, but I've got two flats that I'm growing uh, cauliflower and broccoli in, and probably next week I'll pop those starts in the ground. I started them from seed in the flats because I'm having so much trouble with um, birds eating my seed. Like I planted corn 
three times and not one single not one single kernel was not eaten by a critter not one well nope that's a lie i see one over there okay maybe one was not eaten over here it's mostly empty here i'm not sure what i'm gonna plant here or i might plant some more carrots maybe some extra beets and we've got some dill volunteer here are the Brussels sprouts, those will be ready in three months. And we have Russian tarragon, which I have really heavily harvested, but it grows back super fast. Here is the feverfew and a bunch of weeds. So these with the white flowers is the feverfew, but that is a weed. They walk amongst us, you guys. All right, we have self-heal down here. It is time to harvest. Look at how, look at the beautiful flowers. And this is parsley and hyssop and lime balm, which is definitely ready to go. And you guys, check out the purslane. This is crazy. It has never grown this good ever before. But look at how thick those stalks are. They're like as thick as like my thumb thicker than my thumb and they're growing straight up last year they grew kind of more like a ground cover anyway there's other plants in here but they're kind of being overshadowed by some of these other more prolific ones here are my onions just in the last day or two the um, heads have started to wilt and fall over which means they are ready to harvest you guys check out how big my onions are look at that isn't that beautiful so these are Cortland onions they're um, a good storage onion and they grow amazing here they will last all year they'll last a year just in the shed so this is where I planted my corn those three times like I was telling you I decided to plant um, peppers here instead so these are looks like probably all red ember cayenne peppers. And here's my one corn stalk that made it. Like one, which of course we're not gonna get any corn on. Here we have pumpkins, happy little dudes. All the way down, all pumpkins. Here is the broccoli that I let go to seed. I leave the flowers for the bees and other pollinators. And then I can collect the seed later. We have carrots growing in here. Another huge dill plant. And my beets. These guys are ready to harvest. Should make some more pickled beets. And there's more beans. And it looks like, check it out, you guys. Looks like I'll be doing some canning soon. Look at the beans, they're ready. Don't want to let them get too big. It's a view of the grapes from down here. It's like a little grape forest. Some cauliflower that is going to seed. And my cabbages and calendula. some marigold still down there and my kale is giant and this is empty I should plant something there what do you guys think what should I plant there so I have two small spaces that I can plant something and this big one over here that's going to be the broccoli and the cauliflower and here we have lettuce a new round of lettuce. And some more thyme. And so this is like, look at these little tiny, see these little tiny things? That's purslane that reseeded itself because this is where it was last year. And it's just everywhere. So be aware if you plant purslane in your garden, it's going to be there forever. It's easy to get rid of I mean it's not easy to get rid of but I mean it's easy to pull up if you just don't want it and we have some more hyssop over there and 
another oregano, and a savory. Which is good because for some reason, maybe the, the savory that I planted before didn't like the weather. This one is really happy. And it looks like I have a critter. I should put a trap there. And over here, all of these are um, these plants here. There's like tons and tons of them. And they're all um, broccoli volunteers. So this patch of area here, sorry you guys, the dogs are going wild. One of them's mine and the other one's my neighbor's. The Amazon just came through. Anyway, this, these, all these broccolis are volunteers because this patch had broccoli in it that I let go to seed. And these little pots here, a lot of just stuff that my daughter brought from her. These are her strawberries. And this is the last of the mallow. It's done. And I will cut these plants off at the dirt level of the trough. Look at the grapes over here, you guys. Look at how many grapes are in here. This is the Catawba grape, and it doesn't ripen until like October. And they don't even get fully ripe unless it stays warm. So I'm kind of hoping that it stays warm. This is the tree that I wanted to show you. It is so full of apples. They're ready to harvest. Some of them are huge. Like look at this one is the size of my hand. Check that out. I make applesauce with these because they are just the perfect combination of sweet and tart. Here is another one of my apple trees and these apples are not ready yet. I don't know why. I mean, they're both, I think the same kind of tree, but this, this one's apples are not ready yet. This tree was supposed to be a Granny Smith tree, um, but I don't think those are Granny Smith, you guys. What do you think? What kind of tree is this? It's got a lot of apples on it and it's kind of bendy so I might need to give it a little bit of relief. It's still a pretty young tree. I have two more apple trees and neither one of them have apples on them this year. Uh, which doesn't really surprise me. They're still super young. And here is the garden from the back side. If you can see it with a sun glare, I'm not sure. And the last thing I wanted to show you is the blackberries. It is blackberry season. I know they're still green right now, but my whole property is lined with these and I've already harvested like almost three pounds worth. So these are just a little late bloomers over on this side. Okay, I know I said that was the last thing I wanted to show you, but as I was walking up to the house, I saw that my lilies are blooming, you guys. Aren't they beautiful? My daughters got these for me years ago um, for Mother's Day. And I stuck them in the ground in the front yard and they bloom for me every year. So what do you guys think of my August garden tour? How does my garden look? Um, how does your garden look? Tell me, what are you growing right now? Um, I'm gonna eat this apple and then I am going to vacuum up all of the cut grass I just tracked into my house. Oops, yep. And then I think I'm gonna go harvest the rest of those apples on that tree, right? And make myself some applesauce, which is my favorite, one of my favorite breakfasts. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you again to Penny, who is our new member. Please be like Penny, become a member of this channel, support the work I do. Believe it or not, this is actually pretty expensive. I appreciate all of the support that you guys give me, comments, subscribing to my channel, becoming a member, it all makes a difference to me. Stay tuned for more videos. I will see you guys next time.